It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two Whitehill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? These are dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good Lord. Good Lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. The Ironwood Grove.
Natalia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. This might help. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Roderick will certainly be missed. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove? What of it? He said, the North Grove must never be lost. The North Grove? Interesting. I see. You have the Forester's sword? This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new Lord of the House. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. 
We're the ones who should be demanding retribution. They attacked me! And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms, which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. That settles it then. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. <laughs>